Well, welcome. I am Connie and I am a social media manager and coach. Um, and the dream that God has given me is to really help women just like you um, who need accountability, but also just need encouragement. Um, running a business with all of the stuff that's in it um, can be super lonely, right? Um, and sometimes it's really hard because not everybody understands that you have a dream and um, that you're willing to sacrifice to see that dream come true. And so um, in this training, we're going to talk a little bit about how do you grow your business online, give you a few resources, okay? So I'm going to pull up um, the guide that you got, okay, so that you can... Take a look at that. Okay, so you got this guide. I hope that you take it and download it. And um, you can make a copy of it by just going to file and making a copy, or you can download it as a PDF, okay? Um, but this is gonna help you just kind of figure out. A lot of times when I talk with women, um, I ask them a few questions when we're doing vision strategy calls to really kind of map out their social media strategy. And, and a lot of times I see that they're all over the place. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what you need to have in place. Okay. So the first thing that I think you need is a Facebook page, you know, with around 6 billion people on Facebook. Um, it's kind of helpful to be there. Okay. Um, and so I want you to really look at your cover, photo, your name, um, the story that you write. And I want you to ask yourself, like, does it say what I sell? Okay. And does it tell others, um, like they want to become a part of this community? So is it talking to your ideal client? Okay. So cover photo should be, or profile should be a, your picture, unless you own multiple businesses, then it can be a logo. Your cover photo needs to really tell somebody in three to five seconds what you sell, okay? In the resources guide, there's a Facebook mini course, and you can get that and really um, be able to make over some of that and kind of see some great examples. Um, number two, do you have a variety of posts to build community? Okay, the biggest thing I see with business owners, especially when they're starting out, they're super excited about their product, and I call it product vomit. When I scroll through their Facebook, all I see is buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. Okay, you want to become the expert in what you're called to sell. Okay, and you want to build a community. So let me give you a couple examples. If you are um, doing essential oils, okay, then you want that community where um, you're encouraging them, you're getting to know each other. And then you're really showing them the products that they need. Okay, let's say that you are a brick and mortar and you're a bakery. And um, again, you want to build that community. So talk a little bit to you, you, the person who buys. Okay, like encourage them, like help them um, see what's going on in the community, help get to know them. Okay, but then also provide solutions. Maybe they need cupcakes for a birthday. And, oh, they forgot about the party that they said they would bring something to. Okay, be that problem solver for them. Okay, and then are you doing Facebook Lives? Okay, no, not everybody loves being on live video, but the more you do it, the better you do it. Okay, and it's the best way to build your business, okay, is to do Facebook Lives. Okay, so hopefully you answered yes or no to do you have all of that in place. The second thing I want you to look at is your social media strategy, okay? And I want you to really think about what do you need to focus on? And here's the thing, starting out, you should not circle all of these. You should circle two, two, that's it. Okay, so Facebook will be one of them. Okay, and then what's the other one? Okay, so let's go through them. Instagram is more lifestyle and it's, you're taking a ton of pictures. There's not a whole lot of words. And um, you like private messaging people, kind of connecting with them on that way, okay? Um, it's pretty casual a lot of times on Instagram, okay? 
So maybe that's you. Maybe that's your jam. Um, Pinterest. If you if you can get on Pinterest and spend hours on Pinterest, and you like putting boards up, and the thing with Pinterest is you've got to be one willing to kind of look and do your research on what people are searching for. Okay, so using YouTube keywords and using Pinterest keywords, and um, being able to create graphics okay or being able to have somebody create those for you actually create those for people um but being able to have um that research involved okay um and being able to have a place for them to go okay so that could be a blog that could be youtube that could be a website um there's a couple different places but you want where um they have a place to go or maybe you're doing affiliates maybe you're doing affiliate links and um, you still got to have a place for them to go though okay so you're selling a physical product or a service um, and you have kind of a landing place for your customers okay YouTube so this is for the person who loves video okay you love how you love to teach okay if that's you or you love to create and show that, okay? And you're not, um, you're able to do that via video, okay? Like that doesn't, like it doesn't give you hives when I say video, then you will definitely love YouTube, okay? And then website blog. So maybe you have um, a project that you're working on, you do DIY, or maybe we were talking about the baker earlier. So maybe you're, you know, can show what you have for sale and a little bit of what goes into it. Um, and you can write all that up. You are really good at researching to know what keywords people, again, are looking for. Um, then having a website and a blog is an awesome resource for you, okay? Even my essential oil people. Um, this is not your company. This is for any direct sale, okay? This is not your company website or blog. Okay, let me just make that really, really clear. This is a WordPress, Shopify, um, something like that, okay, where you are um, creating more content, um, education, kind of giving your favorite things, but you're like, you'd like to write that out, okay? You can even add video to that. But I want you to pick two of those, okay? Unless you've been in business and you are being successful in business, okay? Um, then you can pick a few more. Business owners who've been in business for quite some time, you will more than likely see that they have all of these in place, but they also a lot of times have help. <laughs> okay, and some of it's well-oiled and going. Um, here's the third thing I think you need for your business. And I think we don't talk about this in, especially as Christians, I, don't, I just don't think we put this into place, and that is accountability and encouragement. Okay. Um, you need somebody to bounce ideas off of, okay? You need somebody who's going to encourage you, kind of hold you accountable and say, okay, you know, Susie Q, what are your goals for this month? What do you think God's speaking over your business this month? How can I pray over you? And to be consistent with that, to have that consistent um, accountability and encouragement, okay? I think you need that. And so if you don't have that, um, I want you to put a no in that little section, okay? Here's some resources for you. So one of the things God just kind of pressed upon my heart was um, women need a place where they are matched together for a month and they have that accountability and that encouragement. Um, Y'all, there's nothing like having somebody that's in your corner praying for you and rooting you on. Like it's the most amazing thing for your business. And so many times having somebody having eyes on that you can um, see things that maybe the person smack in the middle of it when they're covered up in it, they can't see, okay? So we put together a group um, with you in mind, okay? It's a free group. It's called Christian Women Entrepreneurs. Um, and what it is, is that we match two people together per month, okay? And you're gonna pray for each other, you're gonna encourage each other, doesn't mean you have to contact each other every single week, but one to two times a month, like really encourage that person, but commit to pray over them. 
okay? Um, at least a few times a week, like really, really pray over them. Or if you really, like they're really on your mind, like really pray over them, okay? Um, it's gonna include some monthly social, social media training, okay? A little bit of an overview of their social media channels. And then some personal growth. So maybe that is branding or um, finding that vision or finding a higher calling, um, putting your passion with your strength, things like that. Okay, here's what it's not. Okay, it is not this place that you're going to come in here and um, say, oh, yeah, I'll be matched up. And then you're going to bombard that person with, oh, I have this cell and this cell and this cell. That's not what this is for. Okay, there's tons of free groups that you can do that with, okay? It's really not. This is a place where God is calling women to come together and encourage each other and to be that resource for each other, okay? Um, and then another resource that we have that we have, y'all, it's worth $100 easily, um, is our Facebook mini course, okay? So it's where you learn how to make over your Facebook cover, your profile, your story, how to define that ideal client, Okay, how to know what do people want to buy from you? Okay, how to do amazing Facebook Lives, okay, so that you can get more traction out of that. How and what to schedule on Facebook. So I hear all the time, like, Connie, I don't want to spend all day on Facebook. I get it. I don't either, okay? And I do it for a living. <laughs> and, and I still don't want to do it. That's why I schedule things, okay? And that's what we're going to teach you is, like, what are the types of posts? Um, what, um, like, what are people looking for? And what, how do you build that community on Facebook in particular, okay? And then, like, what is like what path should you have your customers on okay and just kind of like a broad overview of that like what is it that um that works well okay so anyway i hope that you'll check that out like we've made it super affordable for anyone in business and it doesn't matter what business you're in it's all of those are going to help you okay so you can definitely check that out the link is right there in the thing um but i hope that you'll take this information and one, you'll just run with it. God has called you into a place where he has, um, he's gifted you. Okay. He's gifted you to, um, help women find super cute clothing, to help women feel amazing about themselves with their makeup or to be able to, you know, cook affordable, quick meals and not feel like it just stresses them out. <laughs> um to own a brick and mortar to serve your community like i don't know what it is what god has called you i do want you when you get into the group to just like share your story a little bit okay and really help us get to know each other a little bit better so that is um this training okay and i hope that it gives you some ideas to think on i hope that god is stirring some things in you um, and I would love to just pray over you right quick, okay? God, I just come and I pray, Father, for my sister on the other side. God, you've gifted her. You've given her, God, this dream and this vision, and maybe she's not even clear, clear on what that looks like, but God, you do. And so, God, I pray over her right now that you speak to her heart. And God, any fear, any insecurity, God, we speak to that in the name of Jesus, and we ask we tell it to flee. God, I pray that you give her courage and that you give her strength and that you give her um, just clear vision for her business. God, we praise you for what you're doing in this season. And God, I pray just blessings over her. God, I pray that areas where it just frustrates her, if it's, technolo if it's technology or it's um, feeling overwhelmed. God, I speak over that in the name of Jesus and I tell it to flee. God, I praise you for her and the gifts that you've put in her. And Lord, we call those out just like you um, call it out of us. In your precious name, amen. Okay, girl, we will see you in the free group and I cannot wait to meet you.